get from that win at Rutgers? <laughs> Obviously, you guys have kind of a, a difficult stretch. Um, you know, I think it was a great start for us to the stretch of games that I don't think we've ever doubted ourselves, but it was nice to be able to prove ourselves to it, to everybody else and to ourselves that we can keep up the kind of playing that we've been um, – so we can keep playing the way we have been mm -hmm. against a team like Rutgers. So it definitely gave us confidence, but not false confidence, because we still know how good of a team Vanderbilt and Texas is, starting with Vanderbilt. I mean, do you think that surprised some folks? Do you surprise some folks mm -hmm. on I, I definitely do. Um, I think that it is always an issue with people that um, they say that our preseason conference or our pre-conference um, games are never good enough. And um, I know that I've heard that already this year. And we have four ranked opponents in a row. So, you know, starting with Rutgers, I think that really it quieted, it, um, quieted is that a word, to quiet? Yeah. It quieted some people. Um, you know, but we still, we still are nowhere near done um, with what we have to do uh, before the ACC starts. So we have to start, um, you know, getting, getting back to, um, to Vanderbilt and moving on from the win at Rutgers. Abby, a lot of people on the team have had their roles changed, you, Allie. But Lindsay's had to go from somebody who has always been very comfortable passing into someone who looks at her shot a little bit mm -hmm. more. How have you seen her adjust to that? And it seems like she's been pretty good with it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I tell Lindsay every day that nobody can stop her, that she is one of the fastest and quickest point guards in the nation, and that she gets so passive sometimes um, because she doesn't realize that she can take it coast to coast and score every single time. And not only with penetration, but she's a great shooter as well. I think that a lot of people overlook that because of her quickness and her ability to be a one-man press breaker. Um, that Lindsay's got a very nice shot as well. So we, that's definitely what we need is for Lindsay to start looking for her shot and to penetrate more because then people cannot sag off of her and help onto Allie, and it really opens things up in the middle for Allie as well. Go ahead. Can you talk about the matchup with uh, Dee Davis a little bit, how you plan on defending her? You know, Dee, uh, Dee's a great player. I, I played against her in club basketball. I think her team beat us in every single championship game one summer. So um, she's she's just an all-around great player. Um, she's a kind of partner that I think I would really like to play with, that she's just a spark. She gets people the ball. And um, that's that was really one of our focuses today is that we can't help off too early because she's so good at finding the open players and that drawing and dishing. So uh, I think that we know what to expect from her. But with a player like her, um, you know, it's going to be tough to defend somebody like that. Do you think the team's made a jump in the last couple of weeks just in terms of playing better? Mm -hmm. If so, why? I think that at the beginning of the year, every team was kind of jostling around, um, trying to figure out roles and how, how we fit together in chemistry. And I feel like that now that we, got, um, that we have a few games under our belt, that we've gotten into a flow and we're more comfortable with each other on the floor. We're more comfortable with the new players, with um, Brittany and KJ and the freshmen. Um, so I think that that definitely helps, that you can see – us molding together um, on defense and on offense. Um, and especially what I've noticed is that our defense has been almost stifling the past couple games, that we always put such an emphasis on defense and it's really starting to show off in games. I, don't get me wrong, we still have a lot to work on. Um, but our defense is really what generates our offense, and um, that has definitely picked up, I think, ever since the Penn State game. Do you feel your defense has improved? I know Gail mentioned that as one of the factors for the, uh, the 7.3 field goal percentage defense. Are you a better defender this year? You know, that, that has definitely been one of my personal goals, to become a better defender, because I feel like I'm, I'm somewhat out of position. Be, well, not out of position, but um, I'm not the quickest player on the team. So I have you know, have had a hard time guarding point guards like Ivory Lotta or um, girls like that. Um, and, but then again, I'm not very big, so um, I can't guard somebody in the post. So it kind of creates somewhat of a matchup problem, so I know that I really needed to work – on my defense um, and being able to guard quicker point guards and quicker guards um, and being able to stop my own penetration so that Allie doesn't always have to step up and help me and then our rotations are all off. So it, it has been a focus of mine and I know that I have to get a lot better. Um, but I'm just, I'm very impressed with our team defense. You and um, Liz Sherwood, I know this grew up in the same area and mm -hmm. played each other in high school. Can you talk about how well you know each other in that situation? You know, I, my sister and I know Liz extremely well. We actually haven't talked to her in about a year, but um, we, we pretty much grew up playing basketball together. I met her when I was in fifth grade. Um, and, you know, we went on road trips together. We roomed together. Our parents are very close. Um, they, her family just recently moved out to Minnesota. But, um, you know, there's a great family. And Liz is such a great person. And I'm really happy that she's doing well at Vanderbilt. Um, and when I went out to UConn and visited there, she was my host when she was there. Um, and I played against her in high school. She transferred um, from Douglas County High School to Highlands Ranch High School. And we played against. I played against her for two years, um, and 
the Highlands Ranch and games were always the biggest matchups of the year. And on their team, it was her and then Ann Strother mm -hmm. um, from Connecticut and Susie Powers, who plays at Colorado and I was, we're all there. So it's, it's really fun, um, you know, to have those kind of relationships in high school, in middle school, and then be able to play against her again in college. So I'm really looking forward to that.